If you don't have plans now, make them. Try to be outside because we're about to enter a short, <laughs> dry stretch. Adam Claybon's here with your forecast. Yeah, and it's going to be nice too. And temperatures are going to warm up near, if not slightly above, seasonal averages. We're going to show you that great forecast over the weekend. Uh, tonight, yeah, we do still have some of those light rain chances around. Uh, today, we did pick up a lot, but around a tenth of an inch, uh, right around average for the day. And then 50 was our high and 41 was our low this morning. So you factor that all into play and you can see overall pretty seasonal here throughout our Thursday afternoon. Now we do expect heading on into the day tomorrow. Our highs to be a little cooler than what some of them were today. We topped off at 47 and ever today 50 in Tacoma 51 in Olympia 50 out closer to Hoquiam more of a northerly breeze coming back around. That's going to help to really cool things down and uh, we'll see highs generally around more than mid 40s. But as for tonight, you can see some of those clouds in the sky right now, maybe a sprinkle or two, but hey, sunset getting later and later sunrise getting early earlier and earlier. We are now getting into that time of the year where it's nice to be out during the evening and uh, we do expect tomorrow evening to be a lot more sunny, but here into tonight we got the clouds in place. We're already dipping down to 43 for that temperature and probably well on our way to the upper 30s here in Seattle, but check out the wind direction still coming out of the southeast that will shift out of the north for tomorrow and that's going to help to suppress some of the high temperatures that we saw from today. 43 in Shelton, a 37 for a current temperature in Oak Harbor, 37 in Friday Harbor. And where we have more of those clear skies is where we are noticing more of the 30s beginning to pop up already. More of the clouds keeping on uh, keeping with some of the 40s here on into the earlier part of your overnight hours. Skies are cloudy in parts, uh, rainy, uh, well not all that much, but we are seeing some showers around some of the same spots. We've been seeing them here throughout the evening, so it's been really this line right here over from Tacoma, Puyallup, Bonnie Lake around Enumclaw. Showers have been off and on here throughout the evening, while other spots they've been really more spotty in place. You go southward too, and that's where we've been noticing some of the shower activity off and on here as well across the south coast, but that is beginning to fade and break down. Now the system that's just off of the coast, it, it looks close and it is, but it's going to be diving southward down into Oregon and down into California. So we're not going to get a direct hit with this, but with some of the light showers around for tonight, expected to stay somewhat wet for some of our southern communities. On into the early part of tomorrow, you can see those clouds starting to shift from north to south as we get that northerly wind back into play, and that will continue to be the case into tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow night, gradually but surely starting to push a lot of these clouds on out of here where we do keep them. It looks like central and south sound on into the overnight hours of Friday, and then we'll go on into Saturday, starting off with a few clouds. But by the afternoon, check out all the sunshine that's out there. This is 3 p.m. It's looking real nice. And after tomorrow's slightly cooler afternoon of a high of 47, we're back into the 50s on Saturday at 50 degrees, 53 Sunday, another dry day on Monday at 54 before the rain comes back by Tuesday. Lots